little taste of summer out there on this Thursday afternoon. Let's uh, do a quick video a weather update for you as we head into the 2 o'clock p.m. hour. Looks like summer, feels like summer. We've got a few clouds around, and these clouds are starting to billow a little bit in the sky. I'll show you the radar in just a second, but things are still dry over Youngstown, up in Niles. Same idea. Variable amounts of cloudiness this afternoon. Uh, you need the shorts this afternoon if you're going to be out and about. It definitely uh, is warm, and it is humid. We've got temperatures near 80 here at 2 o'clock, including downtown, Boardman, Columbiana, Austintown, all at 79 degrees. Mercer is at 76, so again, it's very toasty. And when we talk about dew points in the 60s, this is something we oftentimes discuss in the middle of summer, not as often in May. So you definitely notice the, the heat and humidity building ahead of a cold front that is marching our way. Well, well ahead of that front. Not much going on on the radar right now. We have uh, showers and storms uh, just south of Pittsburgh and down towards the Wheeling and Steubenville area. And a little blip on the radar right around Lisbon, uh, but uh, not much otherwise. Things are pretty quiet locally, and there's not much going on off to the west. I think we are largely largely dry for the rest of the afternoon. I'm going to show you our high-res future cast, which oftentimes is overdone when it comes to pop-up thunderstorms. And case in point, it's showing more activity at 3 o'clock than there will be in reality. So take this with a grain of salt. But it does try to pop a couple of things towards dinner time. And a couple of places are going to get wet, but most of us will not uh, for the rest of the afternoon and early this evening. Much better chance for wet weather as we head past sunset and especially towards midnight and beyond. This front looks slower and slower, so I think the wettest part of the whole period is uh, from midnight to about 6 a.m., while most of us are asleep. Severe weather risk is very minimal. We're in the dark green here, the low risk area just isolated severe storms, and I think it's more so likely out in central and western Ohio. I think the chances are very, very slim of any severe weather across far eastern Ohio and western PA. And when we talk about severe weather, we're talking about large hail, damaging winds. I don't think either of those things is likely with any thunder and lightning later on. Uh, temperatures getting set to take a nosedive. Now, Friday's still pretty warm. We'll make a run at 70 or even 72. Uh, and in some spots, I think uh, the models are a little underdone with the temperatures tomorrow. But look at the trend as we head towards the weekend. Down, down, down. We'll be in the 50s Saturday, uh, into the upper 30s to around 40 Saturday nights, maybe mid-40s in some spots. And then Sunday, we might not get above 50 degrees. So it's not going to be a very nice weekend. Weather for Weather Geeks on this evening. It'll be online by about 8 o'clock on my weather blog, wfmj.com slash weather, and your Storm Tracker 21 weather apps. I'll see you then, and have a great rest of this Thursday.